This next topic is something that all parents need to pay attention to. Watch it. Kylie Barrett was driving her two sons to school when she hit black ice. Her car spun off the road, striking a tree and crushing her car. Her two-year-old son, Hunter, was in the back seat. Amazingly, all three survived the crash, and Kylie credits Hunter's miraculous survival to keeping him in a rear-facing car seat, saying, had he been facing forward, her son would have been killed. By law, Kylie's home state of Washington only requires children under two years of age or under 20 pounds to be in a rear-facing car seat, raising the question, which direction should your child face? And join us today is certified child passenger safety technician, Jennifer Bell Saxton. Now, the question is, when is the best time to switch from rear facing to forward facing? Because, you know, parents don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the American Academy of Pediatricians actually recommends that you keep your child rear facing until age two or until they exceed the height and weight limit for the car seat. So there's labels on the car seat that will help the parents figure out what is the height and weight limit of the car seat but it's five times safer to stay rear facing because the head and neck and spine haven't fully developed in small children yet. So when they're forward facing, they're more susceptible to severe injuries or death in a car accident. And number one cause of death for children over four is car accidents. You know, most accidents are severe deceleration injuries mm -hmm. where if you're forward facing, you know, we've seen those crash test the dummies. Seat belt injuries. Cre yep. internal bleeding and yep. I have a question though. Okay. I have three six and a half year old boys mm -hmm. and they're in they were in car seats with the five point restraint literally until two weeks ago and my husband took them to school and there was a field trip day and he's like, honey, we're the only people in the school who don't have booster, like just a simple booster or use the seatbelt. Like I'm, I'm all like strapped in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so now they're in boosters and now I'm listening to you thinking maybe Maybe I was the one parent and everyone should have changed to back to five points. That's right. <laughs> um, a five point harness is much safer than just the seatbelt. Um, most parents for the kind of way that they think about their car seats, they start in a rear facing only infant car seat. Mm -hmm. They move to a convertible seat, which is one seat that can go rear facing or forward facing. And that's kind of what we're talking about. When you, when do you switch that car seat? Mm -hmm. And then eventually we'll segue on into that booster. Um, and after the booster, sometimes between the age of eight and 12, um, once they're over four foot nine and can properly fit in the vehicle, they can switch to just the seat belt. But we always recommend stay in that five point harness for as long as possible, because it's really gonna, um, it's gonna diffuse the forces of a car accident over the whole body right. instead of just in one area. I have to applaud you for what you do. Oh, thank you. you know, <laughs> child safety is turning out. If you want to find out more about these specific policy laws in your state, head to the doctorstv.com. Jennifer, thank you for joining us. More to come.